Welcome back. This is Fantastic Pains and How We Hide Them. I'm not Chris. And I'm not Karina. But we're here together. As usual. For more fun times and, and shenanigans. shenanigans. You know the drill. If this is your first time joining us and you don't know the drill, um, this is our sibling duo podcast slash YouTube channel about life with chronic and invisible conditions um, and how we kind of deal with those things. Quite. <laughs> I was like, you're... You can, you can find us on YouTube, uh, <laughs> most podcast platforms, yes. almost Apple. Yeah, almost. almost. We're almost. getting closer to getting on Apple. Um, we got a whole bunch of new new uh, sites that we're on to. Yes. So just look us up. We're there. Yeah. Fantastic Pains on any site. Yes. And we do have a website, in fact. Mm -hmm. Fantasticpains.com. It's our hub. So if you easy. want merch or you need to read our awesome articles about horrible articles, there's horrible the place. Horrible articles. By the time you see this, um, our shop should be live as well. Yes. Which will be great. Um, some original designs. We need to update that one we for do. Haunted Body. Yeah. Because you moved it a little bit. I so. did. I did. And uh, we also have a Discord. Yes. A beautiful community of people. If you want to like, hang out and complain or just chill. Yeah. Um, you can also join us for our lives, which take place Fridays and or we're talking about Saturday morning or Sunday morning to accommodate those of you who are in different time zones, because we would love to give you the opportunity to participate without it being like 3 a.m. where you are. Yeah. <laughs> so. So we're thinking early Saturday, probably, is most yeah. likely. Yeah. So starting in January, so this month now, yeah. as this airs. Coming through. Yeah. Which will be great. So hop in, join us, um, participate, just talk to us. It's a fun time to chat and um, we plan our episodes so you can get your say in there and give us some ideas, which is great. Yeah. Indeed. So what are we talking about today? Today, well, happy new year, first of all. Yay. We made it through 2022. And, and, and happy birthday. Shut up. <laughs> it's our birthday. <laughs> On the fifth. Yeah, I was gonna like when the, when is this going up? So by the time you see this, it will have been my birthday. Yeah, so we're doing birthday now. Yeah. All right, everyone in Discord, uh, in every channel, <laughs> say happy birthday, not Chris. <laughs> At, make sure you tag her. At not Chris. And I want everybody to do it. This is revenge for what I did to him on his birthday. Yeah, so. she and Crystal decided to invoke hate upon me. Yes. Did something similar. We just graffitied everything with happy birthdays. So yeah, do it. Do it to her. But more. <laughs> but more. It's a 30th birthday, too. So yeah. go ahead and. She has a blow theme song up. and everything. Because now I'm turning 30. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you know inside. <laughs> Which, I, from what we found out, most people do. Yes. Remember when it was huge and all of our listeners on Spotify were like, their first their first album was inside, like yes. their most listened to? Yep. Which was great because we attract the right people. Yeah. So if you're the right people, stick around. It gets silly. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to be talking about um, new year and new opportunities, new yep. goals. Um, this is actually the start of season five. Welcome. Hi. Which is amazing. We made it. I just found out today that it's season five. I decided it today. It's very exciting. <laughs> it's been on my mind, but I was like, no, we're pulling the trigger on it. Yes. Thanks, Ruth. It was all your idea. Yeah. Good job, Ruth. <laughs> Ruth is amazing. We like her a lot. Friend of podcast. Yes. So become friend of podcast. Hang out with us. Um, you can also find us on TikTok for the sillies. Oh yeah. Sorry. And shorts, mm -hmm. YouTube shorts. But... Oh yes. There are lots of shorts, but yes. Yeah, so we'll be talking new year and, um, kind of goal setting, yep. um, along with all the things that come with goal setting when you are chronically ill mm -hmm. or have an invisible or chronic condition. Yep. So it gets a little complicated for us, but we're hoping to kind of puzzle it out a yeah. little bit today. So that'll be good. But first... It is time for the weekly recap. Check in. Indeed. Here we go. Fun times. Who's going first? Either, I think, because we had some I'll weeks. go first. <laughs> so we missed, this is since we missed a week. Yes. We had Christmas. Oh, yeah. Christmas went well. Mm -hmm. It was really chill for me. We just stayed at home. We didn't have to go anywhere. People were sick, so a lot of things were canceled. Yep. Um, and nobody came over. Oh, and Jen's mom came over, but that was really yeah. sweet. She got me this shirt. Yes. And she said she nice wants shirt. to see it on the podcast. So here it is, Susan. Be happy. He loves it, by the way. I really do. He likes it a lot. She wasn't sure. I could tell she was like, oh, is nice. he just saying it? Like, no, it's really nice. I like it. And it's soft. Mm -hmm. And it's it's light, but it's also like enough. It's perfect. Yeah. It literally it's wonderful. Perfect. Um, Let's see. What else? 
<laughs> I mean, I have little anecdotes of things that have happened, like <laughs> the night that I stayed up all night uh, and then decided at 2 a.m. I wanted to make pizza from scratch with my daughter. <laughs> And we did. Yes. And it was delicious. Yep. It was great. At like 3 a.m. Yeah. She had Good a time. blast doing it, too. She, she told me, she's like, Dad, this was really fun. Oh. I was like, yeah. Core memories. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. That's a good one. Yeah. And then she made me do it like 12 hours later again. Yeah. And she's like, more pizza. They've learned that you know how to cook. Yeah. That's the problem. And she went and bothered our grandfather to get more potatoes. I told uh -huh. you this. <laughs> So I've been frying potatoes with meals because I just really want fried potatoes. So I was mm -hmm. like, I want Village Inn, which is our local like diner, basically. Yeah. And I couldn't get it because I had no money. So I just made it. You can just make things like podcasts. You can just Did do you it. Know? Don't just... tell people that we'll lose half of our listeners. Every time someone says that we lose half. <laughs> <laughs> That's the math. That's how it works. It's the science behind YouTube. <laughs> anyway. Great. Um, what else? We were sick. Yes. Like from Christmas Day on, mm -hmm. we had this weird illness. Yeah. Well, and I thought it was MCAS because I it Me started too. Christmas Day mm -hmm. and I was like, is it MCAS or am I sick? And so I took a COVID test and nada. And then we went from there. And right. <laughs> we ruled out worse. MCAS. We ruled out um, COVID. And mm -hmm. then it was like, what is this? Because it wasn't. Right. It didn't follow any traditional like flu symptoms. No. It was missing things and it added things and Right. Well, it was like an MCAS flare that just didn't stop. Right. For days. At all. It was relentless. Ever. <laughs> and our grandfather got it. Yeah. And I think it was whatever Sophie had. She gave it to so. us. Like all the adults got mm -hmm. it at the same time. Thanks, yep. Sophie. <laughs> I love you. I, I do I actually do love you, sorry. We do. Mm. She's the best. She watches these too, so I got to be careful what I say. Because um, otherwise, she'll beat him with a she stick. She will. She's violent and mean. Oh yeah, we got a green screen too. Yes. Oh, that was so a cool. A gift for the podcast from my wife. Yeah. Jen. Jen was like, "You need a green screen," and now we have one, so we can do yeah. all sorts of cool things. Everything is now portable. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, wherever we want. And it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm. Oh, this morning. Oh, <laughs> how could I forget? <laughs> so I was getting ready for the podcast. I was sitting on the couch and I noticed Jen's in her car and I was like, oh, that's weird. She's like really late for work. What's going on? So I messaged her. I was like, you OK? And she's like, no. I was like, oh, no. no. Oh, oh no. What's wrong? And it just said, come here. So I go out there. And she's like, I backed out of the driveway, put the car in drive and it made a horrible noise. And I was like, oh, no, God, fuck. She pulls forward, gets the car back. We noticed there's a, a brick behind the car. It wasn't there. And it's not one of our bricks, which yeah. is really weird. And bolts were on the ground. There was a bolt and two springs. And <laughs> we're like, what the hell? What's going on? Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, Randy showed up for the podcast. Yep. And was like, hey, could you take a look? And and so he did. <laughs> and what was it? They sawed off the muffler up to the no, catalytic? Was, or yeah. That's... They sawed off the gas on both ends. Both ends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so they sawed off the catalytic converter. Mm -hmm. And took it. Just ours, though. Yep. It didn't From look like anyone else. From the driveway, too. So they, they got in there, jacked it up, sawed the thing off, like jacked it up in the driveway, mm -hmm. which is sketchy all by itself. Yeah. And took off. And it was like, icy. Like, I'm kind yeah. of impressed. <laughs> they did it. So, yeah, uh, Jen doesn't have a catalytic converter, and now she doesn't have a car. Yep. For the time being. So if there's ever a brick in your driveway and you live in Colorado. It does. <laughs> oh, bad news. Uh, yeah, I got here and. We were all standing outside. She started the car and it sounded like a boat. It did. It sounded like a Chris Craft. It was yeah. like. I was like, what is that? I've never heard a car make that noise. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> and through all of this, I didn't have my meds. Oh, that's right. None you of my meds were week. being filled for a week. Like, we kept trying to, and they just would mm -hmm. not fill. So I was bipolar as fuck. Yep. Like, I had endless energy, and I was like, this is great. I'm on a manic high. Didn't realize I was on a manic high. I just knew that I felt wonderful and I had energy, and then I was sick at the same time, which yes. really upset me. That was so frustrating, too. Mm -hmm. It's like, the whole time being sick, I was like, I really wanted to do stuff. I want to be productive. I want to get things done. Yep. I want to paint, because I've been working on my husband's Christmas present, which is a painting that... I was a little ambitious when I said I could finish I, it by Christmas. But. I think it's cool, though. I love yeah. it. 
I'm I'm happy that I'm taking my time though too because it's gonna come out really good. Yeah, I'm and it had the trippy effect that you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Like she wanted it to be a, something that was visually yeah. attention grabbing and mm-hmm. interesting. So. Yeah. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, being sick was not fun. Mm-hmm. It was just icky. No, and having that energy too, where it's like I need to do things. Yeah. And I was like, and it was frustrating because I was like, I want to go see people. But again, I don't know if I'm sick or if it's MCAS. Yeah. You didn't want to spread. And that's the eternal question with EDS. So by day three, I was like, no, I'm sick. sick. Yeah. It's not MCAS. Because usually I I used to get it. I called it my two day cold. Mm -hmm. Because when I had really bad MCAS uh, flare ups. Oh, my God. It would be like a cold for two days. That explains so much from when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh my god! A two day cold. I never applied MCAS to it. I was never. I've never gone back and be like, "Oh, MCAS was a thing." Yeah, if I drink alcohol, that's what happens. There was a a couple times in the summer that I got really sick for a day, and yeah. I would take a nap, and then I'd be fine. And I was uh-huh. like, "What is this?" It makes so MCAS. much sense now. Oh my god! Yeah. So yeah, so we were sick for like four days before anybody felt well enough to do anything. Yeah, and then. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, some of you know, because we talked about it in the live yesterday. Um, Chris did not fall down the stairs this week. It wasn't me. I fell down in the kitchen. I did. I fell down. uh, And I have a pretty lovely bruise here. Outside. On my arm. In the snow. Yeah. On my really steep. steep, Yeah. The grate on those stairs. stairs. Because my cat got out and I was like, oh, Randy, get him. And then he was like, I'm in slippers. And I was like, all right, I'll just come down and get him. And fell. And then had to play it off right away because he was standing right there. <laughs> and I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just. I love that there's like my elbow. that moment fine. of shame no matter like how old yeah. or when or who. Uh-huh. I would have done the same thing. I would have gotten up like, like, no, no I'm, I'm fine. Good. It's good. It's fine. I'm Even right. if no one was around, I would have played it off. Be like, <laughs> ah, this is fine. This is fine. Well, and then you don't notice how much you've injured yourself. Yeah. For a while. <laughs> which is such a pain in the butt. So if you are chronically ill or have chronic pain. You might understand the like, even after like a car accident, I'm like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It took if I've hurt myself for a while Mm -hmm. until the muscles start to like let go. I don't know what I've done. But oh, God, I hurt me. Wasn't it it your hip like really bad? Yeah. So it was my hip. Um, My neck was really bad for a day and a half. Like I couldn't look down without really bad pain. Mm -hmm. It was just miserable. Um. But I'm feeling better now, which is good. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I fell down the stairs this week. That was wasn't that me. Was good. It was fun. It's gonna be a good year, guys. <laughs> it hasn't even started. It hasn't it's... started yet. Well, not here in the past. Yeah. You're in the future. It's it's time. Yeah, time travel's weird. <laughs> I don't understand it. And I'm mad too because we had um three snow day worthy things. Oh happen. yeah. All during my winter break. So she doesn't get a snow day. Yeah. I also had really crappy weather over my break, which was not my favorite no, thing. No, definitely felt it while we were oh, sick, I was too. so mad. So mad. Well, because, yeah, it, it was like 60, freeze, rain, tons and tons of snow, and yeah. then like 60 the next day. So the pressure's been all over the place. and Temperatures, pressure, everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I and forgot. I I'm not either. sleeping. Oh, yeah. No. And you're not sleeping. I didn't go to bed until 3. Last night? 3.40. Yeah. Last night, I was up until after 1. Yeah. And then I just... Did you wake up late or did you wake up early? This morning? Yeah. I woke up a half hour late. That's, I mean, it's, it got some sleep. Yeah. It was like 9.30 when I got up and I was like, oh, no, I'm supposed to be getting ready. Yeah, I, I woke up with Jen at nine, and then she fell back asleep. So it's kind of good that the car has a had an issue because <laughs> she was late. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, she was very late. It just sucks. It's so it's blows so bad. my mind. What an awful thing to do, like in your own driveway too. Yeah, like you said, it's time for a ring system. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, it's time for us to get ours back on. What? Well, no, back back on the phones is what I mean. Like, it needs an update. Oh. It works. It's just not updated. So we need to update it when we get home today. Yeah. <laughs> I told them what was going on a week ago, so they also don't know where I live, I hope. She lives at Fundy. <laughs> In the Bay. 
the Fundy Bay of Fundy in Colorado. I watched a video the other day. That Fundy was like, Bay, Colorado. Nobody told me that the swells in in the, in the Bay of Fundy were fifty feet. And I was like, I lived it. Yeah. I oh, yeah, and he got to I slept it. in the worst part of the boat to do it too, the forecastle. Oh. So we felt the highest highs and the lowest lows. It was amazing. That sounds like fun. It was though. like a roller coaster ride all night. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it was fantastic. When we did the cruises, my husband got like uh, seasick. I was like boat sick, car sick, but 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 sick. No, seasick. Um, but for me, because I'm dizzy constantly all the time. Yeah, there was no difference. Did you at least feel it? Yeah. Yeah. When I'm laying down, I can with my eyes closed. Mm-hmm. I can feel it move. But I love it because it makes me think of being on the water in Grand Lake. Yes. Yeah. Is my happy place. Yep. So, um, but yeah, Christmas was good. It was mellow, laid back. Most things were canceled because other people w- were um, sick. Yeah. So we didn't wind up going to Pine with my aunt. Um, yeah, the week before was pretty chill. My husband got an early Christmas or an early uh, winter break. There we go. Mm, Words are oh hard yeah. today. Good they God. canceled that last few days, right? Yeah, because Thursday and Friday, they got snow days. Rude. Oh, Friday yeah. was a non-contact day. Whatever. <laughs> She's still mad that you got a I'm snow I'm mad. Day. I'm upset. And then the rest of the weather from now on will be lovely, and we will not get a snow day. That would be perfect. Guarantee it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be so mad. Um, but yeah, so I go back on Tuesday, and then we have a work day, and then kids come back on Wednesday. Wow. So getting right back into it. But at least now I feel like semi-rested, but I wish I would sleep. Sleep would be amazing if I could do that. Yeah. I keep having like really like vivid dreams, but like monotonous dreams. The right. The kind that you wake up from because you're bored. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> and then like, it's like we were talking about before where you fall asleep and then you wake up at a really inappropriate time mm-hmm. and your body's just like, nope, we're up. Wide we're awake. Good. We are wide awake. Yeah. And no matter how like, no, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. No, there was no sleep. So for like almost a week now, yeah, there's been no sleep. So eventually I shall sleep again. And then. Someday. And then I'll be human. <laughs> but yeah. So. I saw David. Oh, that's right. It was fun. Yeah. He he uh, was talking about how migraines originate from the back of uh-huh. the neck. Yep. Because he was blown away by that fact <laughs> that you could just do like a trigger point. Yeah. And then like be fine. It's interesting because we're learning about trigger points like all at the same time mm-hmm. all over the place. Yeah. So because I'm getting trigger point injections in February. Yeah. In my abdomen to hopefully ease some of the crazy abdominal pain. Oh, and then I had a massage, mm-hmm. which was really nice. Yeah. And then I have another one planned for the 11th, so that'll be good. Oh, and, oh, and we're starting low-dose now. I was about to say that. Um, on the 2nd, so <sighs> it's moving fast. And yeah. New year, all kinds of new things. It'll be interesting. We're going to document the whole thing. Yes. Like side effects, feels. Yeah. What's working, what's we'll not. We'll do like a check-in, I think, and yeah. see what happens. Because it's I'm interested, and I know everyone mm-hmm. in the Discord that we were talking to was yeah. like, yeah, we want to know. Yeah, well, and I've been learning more about it, and it apparently is like really good for getting your nervous system back on track, mm-hmm. basically, is just like calming your nervous system and helping you to heal from all the like yeah. heightened ick. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. So, people who like their pain comes from um like trauma yeah it does really well for that people who like have had like accidents that jar the nervous system or illnesses that jar the nervous system um so i'm hoping that there will be improvement yeah and then we'll just we'll see i'm thinking about it like if it works i was thinking like for my lower back yeah like it might be really good to heal up a lot Mm -hmm. of that nerve issue oh yeah that I have going on. We still got to get you in for massage. Yeah, it's true. But if we could get it feeling better. Yeah. So that massage isn't quite so Right. Well, agony. if I'm only like treating my my uh, my uh joints again. Yeah. Life would be Oh my way God. Better. Can you imagine? <laughs> I would be all about it. The days it. when it was just my shoulder that hurt. <laughs> yeah. Dang. The golden era. Right. When it was just one pain. Oh, man. When I thought sciatica was the worst thing there ever was. <laughs> and now yeah. it's just all the time forever. So... 
yeah. that reminds me of a time I, I told Jen while watching Dr. House is like, if I ever have a spinal tap, I want you to kill me. Because I was like, those look scary as hell. And that's going to be painful. I've had like several now. At this point, it doesn't even phase me. Let's just let's tap in there. See what we got going on. <laughs> My biggest fear for a spinal tap. And this was what I was worried about spinal um, initially was um, leaks. Yeah. And then I was concerned because if you... And I mean, you had much more trauma that you were healing from. Yeah. But we have so many of similar symptoms and mm-hmm. we react similarly to things. Um, I was concerned that I was going to wind up with the arachnidosis. Arachnoid, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sticky spiders. Sticky spiders. So it's like your... The, scar tissue on crack. Right. Your scar tissue swells up in the spinal column, puts pressure on the, on, on the nerve, yep. on your spine, spinal cord. Yeah. And then causes more inflammation and <laughs> it just kind of builds up. Mm-hmm. And it's what I have going on. And so collects all the fascia and creates more scar tissue and yeah. gets stuck to itself. And then it's and there's nothing they can really do for it. No. So, yeah, I was concerned about it. But like I've had spinal anesthesia and that was right. Great. Well, yeah, it's I, like, you didn't have fine. like major surgery either. Right. Yeah, it was just my hip. So, yeah, it was fine, but not so scary anymore. Yeah. All right. Let's Should talk we jump about in? goals. Yes. So we're talking kind of broad goal setting and like jumping into the new year and a new season with the podcast. Yeah. So personal goals and then kind of podcast goals and see where we go from there. Mm -hmm. So where do you want to start? How do we want to flesh this out? I don't know. I just have like vague ideas of things I want to do for the podcast. So maybe start there. Because we have like changes. So if we're going season five, what does season five look like in your vague ideas? In In your... Very vague and not your helpful vague input. Vagities. <laughs> and, God, I'm gonna be really mean. I gotta stop. Um, <laughs> I do want to to travel with the podcast. Yes, because now we can take it on the road. We can. Like it packs up with into like four bags. Yeah. Everything, Just and we can shoot cool. anywhere. We have a green screen now, so we could we can feign the same setting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to travel, and I want it to look like we're not traveling. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to shoot this outside in the sun, but with the same background. <laughs> That'll be our surprise. We'll be like, oh, yeah, totally, blah, blah, blah. And then tear it down and be like, surprise, Got we're em. outdoors. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That was that was something. I want to use the green screen for sure for things. Yeah. And I want to do more Wednesday content stuff. Yes. Like shoot intentional short Wednesday videos. Yeah. I just I don't know what they Tom look like on. yet. Yeah. We Wasn't he supposed to... We were going to do it over the break, but then sick. Oh, of course. Yeah. Everyone got sick. Everybody was sick. But yeah. Tom would be a great guest. Yes. I'm excited. For to have a good Wednesday. I think that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. So what else? Is there anything you have? For the podcast? For the podcast, yeah. I'm really just looking forward to the growth and like where it takes us because we, we've made a lot of changes in, I mean, in the sense of setting up for yeah. a bigger future. So with the website up and running, with the shop that's going to be live when you guys see this, yep, um, that's huge all by itself. So for me, like I want to work on some of some more original designs for the shirts for yeah. the merch, because um, I think that would be really cool to do. Mm-hmm. And I just I like doing it, and I like sharing my art with you guys as much as possible. Um, so yeah, it's really the growth that I'm looking forward to because we're. Me too. Almost at 200 subscribers now on YouTube. We're going to make a TikTok when we hit 200. Amazing. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you. And we are having such a good time just getting to know everybody. Oh, yeah. Like we had new people in on our uh, live yesterday. It was wonderful. Thank you. Tara was in. Yeah. And Tara's another elder um, EDSer. Yeah. Who I think surpasses Roof even in the elder stage 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So. Which is just so interesting to like be able to hear from each other. Oh yeah, and like compare notes along the way. Well, the and... life experience that they bring is just yes. so oh my gosh. like amazing and interesting yeah. and helpful. And the things that people have said to us, like we've had just such encouraging messages from people um, recently. Like Hannah, mm-hmm. for one, was just something that we really needed to see and read and be able to share with each other yeah because every time we get something like that anytime we get a comment we're over the moon and we're sharing it with each other and we're like 
this. This is why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. It's like, and it's, it's not like we need to be out there saving people. Like, no, it's just, we didn't want to feel alone and we found a way to make that the case. Right. And now we can help other people not feel alone. Right. Exactly. Um, and help them with what they're, what, with what they're going on with. Like, yeah. A lot of times we'll hear that, like they needed something that we talked about that week and right. that's like really pertinent. And I'm yes. like, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know how that so, happened, but it's just cool. We kind of just run in parallels mm-hmm. in ways, which is just so interesting. And then just being able to hear from you guys about what you want to see and hear on the podcast yeah, um, and on the channel, because when we get to plan episodes with you guys, I think they just come out so so well Mm -hmm. because they're fantastic they're ideas that we haven't necessarily thought about Mm -hmm. and so it's a really fun dialogue to go back and forth with but yeah so i'm excited for the growth and for the relationships that we're building and it's so funny to me because like you'd been seeing for a while people talking about like parasocial relationships and like oh you can't be friends with your follower yes you can right and we will until there's too many of you all. But Down the rap. for now, we are really valuing and enjoying those relationships. And yeah. it's just so different to not not be by yourself in everything. Right. And be, be able to put something out there and be like, somebody will know what this is or be able to reach us with like comfort in a different way. Yeah. Well, it's it's nice hearing that we said something that they related to because it yes. reaffirms that what we're going through isn't just us. Too. Right. You know, it works both ways. Yeah. So if we're like, hey, you know, I hate when this happens. And then someone's like, yes, that exactly all the time. Exactly that. We're yeah. like, oh, okay, good. It's not just right? me being it's crazy. It's just me. Yeah. So I'm just excited for what comes next with relationships. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the building. growth, too. Yeah. Like, I'm really excited for this next year yeah i feel like we've hit a point where we're really comfortable now in the podcast and we don't mind saying things yeah like well we're we're comfortable in our own skin which i think is different too yeah no when we started i was so awkward yeah (laughs) we were just like i don't know like how to put me out hearing my own voice yeah freaked me out like just seeing myself uh i wouldn't have wouldn't i did not like it (laughs) yeah glad we went that route though we're on year two and then mm-hmm. we're gonna be many more in what four months yeah, five, in may. Five, five months yeah mm-hmm. so cool so two years in may and we're almost at 200 subscribers which is fantastic on youtube and we Sweet. just hit 10,000 views on youtube yep. which is fantastic we got our achievement woot, woot. yeah but yeah i think taking it on the road would be really cool too yeah and getting to do more stuff out and about mm-hmm. and i'm hopeful for this summer fingers crossed that we can be out and about and it's not going to be like deathly hot Mm -hmm. and horrible no we'll find we'll find things to go to or we'll plan events like i i want to do a get together with the colorado group yes like just get coffee or something together you know should be so find a neutral in between all of us right place yeah like i I don't mind traveling to go see people but yeah i think what we're building is valuable not just to us but is now super valuable to us like and i mean it has been but it's definitely like the podcast is my baby yeah and it's the thing we look forward to every week so i'm excited to see where it takes us and what we can build and innovate and keep pushing forward yeah changing and growing my main goal now that i think about it is i want to hit a thousand subs that would be so cool. We get to do things when we hit a thousand. Yeah. Like we'll unlock more things. Like I could set up chapters yeah. in the episodes and things like that. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to and maybe getting like a, a YouTube manager. That would be cool. To help direct our content yes. would be a, a helpful. Yeah. <laughs> We're just not great at like the connection like with other people. You yeah. know what I mean? Like reaching out to other. There's not a whole lot creators, of other people, yeah. but other creators. Yeah. Yeah that are going through similar things we need to actually do it this year yes oh that's that reminds me i think a goal to set and a goal i'm gonna set an actual goal here karina here we go she's doing it here we go she hates them because if you know me or if you've been watching for a while you might know i don't like setting goals she does not not in my nature 
but we're going to practice today. Okay, what is it? Um, my goal is to reach out to um, some companies. Oh, yeah, yeah. About some sponsorships. Yep. So one of which being Body Braid and one of which being Apothecana. Yeah, things that we've used and yes. swear by. Right. Like Apothecana was my main Christmas gift for people this year. and It was really good, Got actually. one for Baby Brother and he texted me the next day and was like thank you so much it works it does it just and it does. smells good and i was like yep i had to use it last night i my legs were tingling mm -hmm. really bad like you know the, oh, the, the nerve tingles, the nerve tingles. Yeah. so i was like you know what i'm just gonna lather them up and it works yeah. i was like after a few minutes uh -huh. silence yeah. and i could oh, i could pretend so to nice. sleep and it's not like it doesn't leave you with that like icy hot burn. It doesn't right. distract you from the pain by burning your skin off mm -hmm. or freezing your skin off. It just quiets it mm -hmm. and leaves it nice yep. and quiet and happy. Yeah, Jen swears by it too. Yeah. So like, that's that's it's great that's stuff. something we've been meaning to do and something that I think we will do. Yes. So that's the goal. The goal is to reach out to sponsorships and see what we can do there. I have a goal for setting up a PO box too. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Some mm. somewhere people could send things to, yeah, and that we can mail things from, and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and we'll we'll be mailing back and forth here, um, with some of our current subscribers in a bit too. Yeah, we're doing so. test runs on on things, mm -hmm. and figuring out our store and how we want it to run. Yep. So, yeah, we're just we're building. We're still building. We don't have, like, it's not a finished product, and I oh, don't no. envision it being a finished product for a long time, but. I love what we're building and I love the fact like I love the process of the building yeah. which is great so more high guests. hopes for the coming year more guests more guests yeah. returning we need to bring back some people yes I wanted to do an episode with Kaylee actually on uh -huh. and one with Vizzy again do yes. follow-ups and make sure we they're doing okay Vizzy back on. I miss Vizzy. Mm -hmm. we need to get bug on yeah because it's been a while well and the last one we did with bug got trashed yeah it, it didn't work. This the whole, the whole second half was gone. <laughs> the, gone. The setup was bad. It was back when we were doing the chair thing. Yeah. And the couch. And we and... tried to do two cameras, and it just it wasn't. Good. It two cameras that you had to reset every thirty minutes in sync. And no. Well, and I think we figured it, it out is. with the table, and it worked. It works. Oh well. yeah, I love our multi. We view. like it. Multiple person view works. Yeah, it's nice and easy. I want to do a couple couch episodes too. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Some low energy ones would be good. I want to do. I want to talk more about, um, like the vulnerability aspects. That's of things. a good one. Yeah. Because as we become more comfortable in the podcast and with our viewers, um, I think overall the podcast is a chance for us to practice the skills definitely that we struggle with. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because it has been. And it's been amazing the growth that we've made personally. Yeah. Um, by practicing within the podcast. And so I think it'd be really cool to be able to practice more skills for ourselves. Yeah. So even like now, goal setting, practicing that skill because this is a comfortable space. Um, and was it Creek who was saying accountability buddies for yes. goal setting? Yes, we need to Which do would this. Be awesome. We're gonna set up a, a text channel. Yeah. Or yeah, a text channel in um the discord yeah where we can buddy up uh -huh. and then set goals and check in check on each in. other yeah we'll set like a day yes. like a weekly check-in for everyone that yeah. maybe fridays like so that we could do it maybe not publicly but at least we'll be right. together yeah you know no, that's a good idea like the end of the week check-in mm -hmm. like how we doing that would be awesome so if you're interested in that let us know yeah that would be great what about like personal goals personal goals um i'm on a weight loss kick okay like i've lost a ton of weight i don't know if it's even visible but it like, is i've i've been losing weight like mad yeah. because i stopped drinking soda completely yeah just cut it out and it's been fantastic it's weird though my body to to, to re to compensate for the lack of calories that i was taking in i i have an appetite oh that's interesting right that's why i've been cooking so You're much because like, i'm like food. i want food this good food now. yeah and i will i will make my food nice I, it's weird but i love it <laughs> but yeah i'm going to continue and i definitely want to work on more cardio this year yeah like i need to get um after we put the holiday stuff away i'm going to be using my treadmill more nice i know it's like a generic goal but it's one that 
I've fallen into. So mm-hmm. I, I just want to keep the trend up. Would you be willing to do like cardio days with me at the gym? Yeah, I love okay. cardio. Because I need a buddy. Like I like full on. I have such a hard time going to the gym by myself because mm-hmm. there's nobody to keep me accountable and I'm bored. Yeah. I need parallel play. No, I understand. I've always done better before. Like when I first started working out in Grand Lake, I did it with yeah. Cody, who was an Olympic junior Olympic uh, oh, competitor. Oh, that's right. And he did legit workouts. So yeah. I was working out with this kid who was going hard <laughs> and I would keep up and and it was great. I that's loved awesome. it. That's awesome. Waking up early and working out in the boathouse. Yeah. That's fun. My goal is definitely I want to get back in the gym. Yeah. Like I need to get back in the gym. Um, and then with that, I think will come a little bit of weight loss, but I'm not like concerned about it. Mm-hmm. It's not something that I'm like, oh, I need to lose weight. But I'm like, I could tone that up. I right. could get that muscle back that That's I've what been I'm losing. Meaning I wanting. need the muscle back. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And it's hard because, like, I need to just bite the bullet and train a new trainer. <laughs> right. It's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So new trainer for sure. Sorry, I'm writing them so that my brain can hopefully remember them. Hey, it's good practice. Yeah. Um, what else? Health goals. Let's think of, like, for the year. I would love to get some something fixed. Yes. And I'm torn between pushing for knees because knees are so hard to get worked on. Or shoulders again. Right. Like, my shoulders are starting to be really bad. Mm -hmm. And they're way past when we thought we would need touch-up surgery. Yeah. They said three to five years. You know, I'm pushing seven. Like, Like I was 30. we were lucky. Yeah. Yeah. So, I might might do that. Mm -hmm. Because they're, you know, it's not one that takes me out of commission either. Right. Shoulders are fairly easy to recover from. And that it'd be necessary. And I know that I do handle them well. I've had three shoulder surgeries and they all work perfectly. So. I'm thinking that's probably my goal. I can agree with that. I need to I need to figure out what I need to do. Like, what am I going to prioritize? Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, consistently, ankles are bad. Yeah. Ankles are really bad. But I've just kind of gotten used to it, so I have not been prioritizing it. Mm-hmm. Um, but either ankles or left shoulder is most likely. <gasps> Teeth, too. Oh, I need to get... Right. I need to fix two two teeth that are broken on the Ooh, bottom again. Yeah. I just need to replace the whole bottom. Like, I'm wondering if I could get that when done. When do you get your permanent set, though? Are you I, getting a permanent It was never really thing? scheduled or anything. Oh, like, okay. It was something we were down the road, maybe. Yeah. But I think, like, I've been doing these, like, take this quiz and find out if you're eligible for, oh, yeah, like, yeah. for a full replacement. And yeah. it's half the time they say yes, half the time they say no. Because I have three functional teeth still yeah that aren't broken or like degrading mm-hmm. but i have so many that are bad and it's just the bottom teeth like i think i need to do a filling on my top row that's it mm-hmm. my i'm the other way around actually like my bottoms are not bad now because huh, i'm missing a few teeth on the bottom yeah um but the top is this one is just <laughs> It's like a shell of a tooth with a hole in the middle. Yeah. It's just open because I never had it crowned. Um, but yeah, it would be teeth. <laughs> I didn't do teeth at all this year. So. Yeah. I mean, teeth, I did. I teeth got some need to teeth. be done. More than That's I thought it sure. would get done. Yeah. You so got a lot done. I know that I have a good place that I feel comfortable in. Mm-hmm. I don't mind like going in. And, yeah. I need to I call them. them. But I need to wait until, you know, after today mm-hmm. so that everything resets. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. But, yeah. And then, <laughs> health goal here, I need to quit smoking. Oh, that'd be a toughie, but a goodie. Yeah. Well, it's because other things I know have to happen or have to, they're waiting on quitting smoking. Mm-hmm. So, quitting smoking first, then other things may be on the plate. So, yeah. Not necessarily a goal for the other thing, I'll but help. a goal for I don't know how I'll help, but I'll, I mean, I'll support you. <laughs> I'll just call you every time I need a cigarette. <laughs> oh, God. I can't afford that. My phone bill would be through the roof. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's not that bad, but... Yeah. No. I mean, if you can do it, go mm-hmm. for it. We'll see. We'll hope. Hopefully, like, I'm feeling... Uh, we were talking about this before the podcast started, but... Or today, anyway. Um feeling like 
like we're not in like a great place overall, but I feel like we're on the road to better things. Yeah. Like we're it's it's getting different right now. Right. <laughs> it's we're in getting transition. Different. Yeah. And you can feel it. Like it's a positive. Yeah. The yeah. coin is flipping. Things are more secure. Mm-hmm. Um not so in flux. Yeah, compared to last year, I feel yeah. like I feel even in my life like yeah. more comfortable and secure and everything. Yeah. Like just stronger footing. Yeah. And not quite so I I know what's coming next a few steps ahead. Yeah. Instead of like, where am I putting my foot? <laughs> right. Reaction right time. Right now. <laughs> am I gonna fall off a cliff if I put my foot down? Yeah. So yeah, I think we're we're in transition to the it gets different. Mm-hmm. Which fluff. Oh, I know. It was on me and then it was on the mic and then it's it's everywhere. Here's a floop. Okay. The ghost is participating. But yeah, quitting smoking is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Just a healthier year, hopefully. Yeah. And not like, I, d- I don't want to set myself up for like, these are my resolutions yeah. and then we ditch them later. It's just overall within this year, I want to start turning the page instead of letting myself sit in limbo for so right. long. Right. You're going to be proactive in your life. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing I'd like to do is to um, hopefully if naltrexone works, I can move away from using marijuana. Yeah. And then get back on my like get back with my psychiatrist mm-hmm. and get on Adderall again. Yeah. Which would be fantastic. So we'll see. Yeah. But that's dependent on the naltrexone. Yeah. So well, we'll not see. Not quite a goal, we'll but see. it might be later. Any other ones for you? Not really. I mean, I want to do more with editing. Like, yeah. I'm always learning every week. I, I try something new. Or I want to get back to being involved in the editing. That's like, fine. Like, I want, I want to build a schedule in my life so that I have more room places to yeah. do what I want to do. Well, if you want to do that, like on Sundays or something, yeah. or we can even start editing after the episode. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to like wear you out though it would sometimes after the episode we're like yeah burned and we're done yeah but yeah that would be fine by me i like it i enjoy editing when you're in the room yeah it's fun it's fun and then we can pull tiktoks like mm-hmm. right away and that's always great but yeah we're just i feel like we're looking up mm-hmm. like things are coming to a better place and then we'll be able to take a breath before yeah. the next round of crazies come along. Because mm-hmm. it will. Because <laughs> it always does. And that's okay. I mean, someone stole my catalytic converter today. Right. That's chaotic. But that's hey. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's what happens. Hopefully insurance will be on top of it. And oh, yeah. We'll make sure that it's taken care of quickly. Did you lose your water? I did. I put it right in front of me. Oh, I was like, is it under you? Yeah. But yeah, so... That's interesting. I think I had more goals than I thought I did. Me too. Like ap- after thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. And like talking well, about Well, and they're it, not, like, like you said, they're not resolutions that we have to stick right. to. Right. Like I pick things that are kind of already naturally happening. Yeah. And, and I just like, want to continue or improve upon. Yeah. I just want to follow through more. Yeah. I want to be more on top of having a schedule and less completely exhausted yeah. by my life so that I'm not coming <laughs> home. And then giving up on life yeah. after work because that's how it had been all year was like work. Well, you were, and die, you were like beyond podcast on the weekends. Picking it like catching up. You were behind. Yeah. Oh, I was way everything. behind. It was so hard. And so now I think I'm like starting to catch up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so I think we'll start the second semester with a little bit more energy, which will be great. So I won't have. Won't have quite such an attitude all the time. <laughs> I don't. It's fine. The kids know. Yeah. But I'm hoping that I can help myself to stay mm-hmm. more positive. Yeah. Which would be helpful. Break time? Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, think about what your goals are, friends. They don't have to be resolutions and mm-hmm. they don't have to be huge. Just think about little changes that maybe are already on the way yeah and how you can commit to those changes um yeah you know what to do hopefully and if you don't what do they need to do uh you need to drink some water yes 
hydrate or dehydrate. Mm -hmm. You need to have a snack because you are a snack. Uh, take your meds. Yep. If you have not, stop putting it off. You're gonna forget. <laughs> you've snoozed that alarm so many times that you've dismissed it now, and you're gonna forget until yes. this evening. So mm -hmm. maybe take your meds and take a break if you need it. If yes. you're in the middle of chores, mm -hmm. take a breather. Yeah. Don't push yourself too far. See if you can find some sunlight. Oh, that would be nice. And if you can't. Find something cozy, mm -hmm. like fuzzy socks. Yeah. Or fuzzy animals. Mm -hmm. And if you're neurodivergent or uh, neurospicy, um, remember that music will help you do the thing that you've been putting off. Fact. I always forget, and then I put it on, and I'm like, magically, I cleaned my house. What? Mm -hmm. What is this? Yep. It's music. You, you can <laughs> do it. The power of funny. music. Yeah. And then we forget. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Weird. But yeah. Uh, we will take yeah. a small break mm -hmm. and we will see you in a minute. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, did you know that Fantastic Pains now has a website? On our website, you can find our shop where we will be opening up for custom t-shirts and orders there. You can also find access to our PayPal, Winky Wink. You can buy us a coffee anytime. We would love that. You can also see some of our blog articles, access to recent episodes and our TikTok and uh, get in contact with us. You can also find a link to our Discord, which is getting updated pretty soon to include new channels and some games. We would also like to thank our producer for setting up the website. Thank you for supporting us and enjoy the rest of the show. Indeed, thank you. Welcome back. How was your break? Did you do the things? Did you? At least one? Hydrate? Take care of you. Please? Do it. We care. Yeah, and there's nothing you can do about it. Just saying. <laughs> Take our love. Too bad. <laughs> we love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. So take your meds and drink your water. Okay. We had a good break. We yeah. went outside. We it was had food. Sunny. It was actually really nice out. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're good. energized and angry. We <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. angry. Producer Randy was super sweet and offered to go get us food. And so we are now fed and happy. Yeah. And having a. Ooh, we read an article yes. for you. In our new segment. Yes. Media review. Yes. We're going to have to come up with a jingle for it for you to say now. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. It's media review. <laughs> Ta-da. That's it. Do, 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 do. It's media it's review. It's media review. Great. This one, if you have HEDS or you hang out in the forums, you mm -hmm. will have seen already. It is CNN Health's... Um, article uh blog post i don't know what you would call it it's an article it's an article yeah um uh, by sarah lazarus that was put out two days ago so on thursday yeah um and has been sent to all of us like oh so many times yeah it's been out longer that was when it was updated there was a yeah. tweet to it but it's, oh, been out, okay. it's been for like the week yes um <laughs> but it's been sent to both of us. Oh, multiple times. times. Several Everybody times. and their mom. And my mom. <laughs> they think it's like, they're like innovative. And you're like, okay. Well, okay. It's it's visibility. Yes. It's like what Ruth said. It, you don't know what'll, what'll, what media will reach. Right. And how what, it, what it will take to get people in. Yeah. Which makes sense because we were just saying like, this article is not for us. Yeah, no, not written for people it's with It's not EDS. written for EDSers. Um, and not to say that it's a bad article. No, it's I mean, just... It's it's pretty Definitely. accurate. Yeah. Oh, well, she goes into the accuracy of it. It's a little bit um, kind of boiled down. Yeah. Which is probably good. It's good. If yeah, you're... it's digestible for mm -hmm. newbies. Well, and I, it's interesting because it tries to tackle, it's, it's like mini articles. Yeah. Which is interesting. I haven't seen an article of this kind that tries to do so many things within the same mm -hmm. piece. Yeah. Um, so this one is like the anecdotes, um, the actual science of the diagnosis, not the science of, but you know the, what I mean? The lack like of the, diagnosis. The biology and like, yeah. and then the journey to diagnosis yep. and problems within that and um, what people are trying to do about it. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's and just interesting. And then caps it off with, a the cat. most annoying oh, yeah. sentence. <sighs> I, I, I okay, look, I don't hate the article. I no. love what it does, and I love that it's for people. Yeah. It's not for us, but like to end us. it hoping for a cure. <sighs> it's rude. Don't wish cures on people. Especially because I'm so sorry, but 
there's not going to be something where they're like, look, we magically fixed all of your collagen in your whole body right. all at once. It's all better now. And also all the damage you've done because your collagen is crappy. Mm-hmm. Um, we fixed that too. Like, it's, it's sweet. Not, like, yeah. I get where she's coming from as like a parent. It's a very parent thing to it is. put out. And she even says herself, like, her daughter didn't handle it badly. Right. She did. Which which is the part that bothers us, I think. Yeah. Where we're like, but it's not about you. <laughs> exactly. or, I'm sorry, but it's not about you. I mean, if she's handling it well, then you should be handling it well. Right. Like, Support her in handling it well. Yeah. So there were a few things that we had to comment on because it was just, just, just not super well thought out. Like it, it was a very cursory thing. Mm-hmm. Like you can tell she. No, I'm sorry. I was gonna say you can tell she just discovered it, but it's been a year since they right. were diagnosed. So through the article, though, I think she learned more. Yes, and that's really what it kind of came to. <sighs> so it's which just parts bugging you? Strange. So to start off, is like within a couple months, everything fell apart. And then she goes into, couldn't find out what was wrong with her. Then in October, a breakthrough. So she was first like handed the idea for diagnosis. She got very lucky. A podiatrist recognized the symptoms Mm -hmm. um, and sent them off for a diagnosis. Um, So they talk about like, it's intensely painful and all that. And that's like, great, fine, sure. Um, her biting score is a little bit out of date, which is okay. It's fine. <laughs> um, let's see. Had enough symptoms to qualify for a diagnosis. There's just a lot. There's a lot to it. Mm-hmm. So they talk about she's she talks about like the severity of it, which is great. Um, some of the symptoms are just kind of glossy, like she just was like, I looked on the Google homepage when right, I searched I it. Which is fine. Like, people don't yeah. need to know every detail about it. She got POTS but, and MCAS in there. Yes. But it's like this attitude where she says, reading about EDS was a dreadful, slow reveal. <laughs> because she is taking this so hard, even before her kid was diagnosed. Mm-hmm. So, where is it? The diagnosis was upsetting, but identifying her illness also gave her a sense of relief. So this is the ad- the attitude that a lot of us feel. Yeah. Where we're like, no, I was diagnosed and that's okay now. Yeah. Like, I've always had this. This I is I know me. what it is. Now I know it. Exactly. Because when you live with it, it's not something where you're like, oh, God, make me better. It's it's exactly what we've talked about. It's the, big, the difference between growing up ill and becoming ill. Mm-hmm. And with EDS, the interesting thing is that you see both. Yeah. Because you have people who barely have symptoms until they're in their, like, 40s. Yeah. And then they fall apart. And then you have people who have had symptoms from the onset forever ago, and then it just gradually gets worse, and we're like, eh, okay. Right. We'll just work with this, I guess. Um, And they talk about, like, there's no cure, and we can do our best to alleviate symptoms, And then she talks about, like, I was shocked and overwhelmed and cried for weeks. Which is one thing when you're like, I I have to reframe it, I guess. Because for me, I'm like, ew, gross, why? But at the same time, from a parent's perspective, I imagine that when you're like, oh, my God, I can't help my kid. But wouldn't you take a cue from her attitude about it? I would. Like, if Sophie was diagnosed with something her reaction would definitely influence mine right if she took it hard i'd probably take it hard too because it was her hurting right would hurt me. her hurting yeah but, but can you imagine her being okay with it and seeing you mourn it right that would add a layer that i that it's right ick. like it's ick because all i want to say is like it's not about you right it's, it's not about you it's about your kid and how your kid is handling it because your kid got the diagnosis. Your kid is like, that's hard to take in, but I feel better about it now. Right. And you should be there to be able to go, I'm so glad we know what this is and I'm going to do my best to support you along the way. Right. That is well, yeah, the parent that's, responsibility It's there. like in her head, her daughter changed. Yeah. 
<laughs> and that's but the she, attitude she we didn't. see so often too, mm-hmm. where they're like, "Oh my God, the diagnosis you got," and you're like, "I literally just got a sticker for the thing I've always had." Right. It's, I'm still me. <laughs> it's the same thing. Now we like, just know what's wrong with me. The only difference between today and yesterday is that now I know what is happening. Yeah. It's like it's always been raining, but today we called it rain. Yeah. So I think that that part is what bothers me is the like attitude toward it Mm -hmm. that it's this like damning thing. Right. Like life is is what's the future hold, which I guess is something that we all go through in stages, but Mm -hmm. like go through it in stages, man. Right. Your grief is your grief like grieve for your kid. But do it quietly. (laughs) <laughs> well i mean I would, it's not about you i wouldn't do it in front of rain right like if i i would do it away from her because i wouldn't want her to get upset or freak out more because yeah. she definitely would be taking cues from me right on how severe it well, is well and also can you imagine like the the guilt aspect of right. being like oh my illness is hurting my mother right who yeah that's, that's a not a responsibility your 15 year old should have icky um let's see what did she say there was an interesting thing and this bothers me because i feel like it's backwards oh the uh Uh, ratio yeah well not the not the ratio necessarily but that this is like how many years it took but when she talks about why more men are diagnosed than Uh, women she, she doesn't even go into that she just says more women have it and that's why it's ignored as a condition right which is not true. <laughs> well, not in what we've experienced. No, because men are more and likely heard. to be like, okay, I guess I'm crazy and I'll just shut up now. Yeah. So men are more likely to like abandon the search for a diagnosis unless it's bad. And then when it's bad, they're going to be faster to be diagnosed, mm-hmm. assumedly. But yes, there's. it's just, it's an interesting article because there's so much like right and also, eh, but... Right. Yeah. So I feel like we need to. <sighs> Medical neglect is huge when it comes to women and people of color. Yes. We know this to be true. This is a fact. But also, men are socialized to not follow through with medical care. Mm. But I think she explained it more perfectly before when she talks about how medicine falls in silos yeah right that's why it takes so long to get a diagnosis Mm -hmm. because the symptoms are not being looked at as a whole picture that in and of itself is why diagnosis is delayed and why the condition is ignored as a whole right because we're not looking at things as a whole not just because like oh more women have it so we'll just ignore it right (laughs) like that's not how that works at all (laughs) They're not sitting there like with their funding going, oh, more women have EDS. Yeah, nah, no, I don't care. they don't. They don't need any research. It's fine. <laughs> what? No, yeah. it's just not well known. Was there Poorly. anything else that bothered you about it? Or was that it? It was just that last line that yeah. you were like icked out. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the ending line really bothers me because <clears throat> she she yeah. was like, <clears throat> With better understanding of the condition and diagnose- diagnostic tools on the horizon, my biggest hope is there will be a cure one day and that it will come in time for Poppy. Yeah. And if you were here from the very beginning, don't wish, like you've heard us say, don't wish cures on people who are chronically ill. Yeah. It's rude. It's so rude. <laughs> Stop. Right. I mean, I, it, it's, it's, it's nice to see it like where she's coming from it's coming yes. from like a good place yes she's not like oh my daughter's horribly ruined and i need her to have a cure she's what? like i hope that there's a cure in time for her right because she just wants the best for her daughter yeah but I, I don't know how realistic that is it's well I'm like you're not gonna fix it all you're not right. you're not gonna be able to fix all of the damage and right. all of the tissues right assuming that we went right now and got all of our our tissue redone right with proper collagen, there's still the damage that we've well, done. Well, I'm sorry, it would take like seven years. To I don't know, but have I'm saying like, even if it was figure perfect, itself out, yeah. right? We still have a lot of damage yeah. that yeah. just can't be undone, even. Right, like you're not gonna fix all the stuff that we've torn, yeah, or like the things that we've stretched out on accident, or 
the arthritis that is a result of all those things rubbing together. Like, exactly. It's not it's not reasonable and it's rude. Stop it. <laughs> and they talk about like the the gene to identify HEDS, which is great in a way ish, but also it's not that it's just a clinical diagnosis. To get to any form of EDS takes that much for mm-hmm. searching for a reason. Yeah. Right. So it's not just that it doesn't have a marker and that's why people aren't diagnosed. That's not the case at all. So the marker is just going to help us create more subtypes right. of EDS. That's all it's going to do. Mm-hmm. So you're going to have like a definitive sticker at some point. Cool. But also, if you're living with the symptoms, does it really matter? Right. Overall, though. Yeah. Not a horrible article. No. I mean, it's a good first introduction for people who are like, oh, I think I heard about that one time. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, I think so-and-so's kid has that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it was not an article for people with EDS. (laughs) But it can be a good gateway. (laughs) Yeah. It's like a primer. Yeah. And then you just go in and learn more on your own, hopefully. Yeah. Huh. Who knows? Yeah. So we'll see. It could be like what Martina did for us, though. Like what Ruth says. Right. It could be the thing people go, oh, I have all of those. Yeah. Maybe this is the thing. Right. Because they did nail like the symptoms. Yeah. You know, they got a lot of it because they did. They just they condensed a lot. And mm-hmm. so it's easy read. I think the one complaint I have is that the article tried to do too much. Right in itself because it is it is long yeah and so i feel like people are going to abandon it before they read it oh so that that would be my only complaint like make make them into smaller bite-sized pieces where you're like my kid was diagnosed like the first half cool stop there right stop there and then follow up later gotcha so that that would be my only like real complaint (laughs) I like you're trying to find a place for your coffee. I know. Where to? Like, There's too many things. All right. You want to jump in? Yes. Yeah? You're going to get some more energy or did you get all the food sleepies? No, I'm good now. Okay. I just You were giving me half-lidded blinks earlier. Oh, yeah. Well, I was zoned out. <laughs> I was, okay. I was, I was thinking check. about the article and then I was like zoning out on something else completely. Oh, yeah. Spaghetti brain. Yeah. Where you're like, I followed the yellow it's brick road. It's like my uh, concern is wearing Somewhere off. else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so my focus Spaghetti was like. Spaghetti brain for days. Yeah. No, I'm yes. Good. So in this half, we're going to talk about um, kind of the how to's, right? Yeah. So we're going to talk about disappointment and failure and how to cope with that when it's setting goals. Because for me, that's where I've traditionally faltered or historically faltered. Yeah. Um. Because I don't like setting goals because I don't like disappointing myself. No. It's that you don't want to hurt yourself. Like, right. You don't want to fail. Right. You're you like, don't... And I feel like I'm setting myself up for, for failure, failure when yeah. I set goals. Mm-hmm. So this is the practice of that. <laughs> and kind of how to cope with that. Yeah. I, I don't know how to cope with it. Right. How are you with setting goals like normally? Because I feel like you've had an easier time. Or maybe you've just adapted better. I, th- I think it's it. I think it's I've adapted better now because like I used to set goals and then <clears throat> I would destroy them. Yeah. And it would be everything I did, even when like start like in the beginning when I was losing my ability to work. Yeah. Like simple things like oh, I need to go into my job. Yeah. And then let myself down on that, or like going back to school and then not being able to continue. Right. Like it was hard. There was a lot of things that I that I wanted to do, but I just could not do. Yeah. And those goals I took and I applied them to everybody's judging me. Yeah. Right. Like this goal that I set. Now, everybody's going to think that I'm a bad person because I couldn't do my goal. Yeah. Even though they didn't even know it was a goal that I had. Right. So it was like this goalpost of failure. Yeah. Oh, and- yeah, exactly. It was like. <laughs> Look at all the things I can't do. I'm going to lay them out nice and neat for myself to see. <laughs> exactly that. Yeah. Um, but now it's not not as bad. Like, especially we were talking about, like, personal goals and stuff. Like, right. I'm picking things that I, I know I can do mm-hmm. and that I, I don't think I'll fail. Right. And that I want to do. Yeah. You know? I think the other part is 
how much of our goal failure and fear of those goals and those failures comes from a gifted kid burnout right oh yeah b adhd Mm -hmm. and c for you (laughs) the bipolar (laughs) And then D, add a chronic illness on top of it all. <laughs> and then we were just like, we're bad and we can't follow through with exactly. stuff. And we're lazy. Oh, and we I was can't... A, in my head. I was a horrible <laughs> flake and everyone hated me. And I was just a piece of shit. I, that was where I was at yeah. because I couldn't do things. Yep. Like it took me like six years to finish my bachelor's. But you so finished it. Barely. <laughs> but you did. Don't discount it. And then it. I failed out of my master's program twice. <laughs> it's like life happened yeah well but now i can recognize that life happened and yeah. be like that wasn't my failing like that was it had to be a back burner thing mm-hmm. because of what was happening at the time yeah like i couldn't i couldn't so now at least i can recognize like the factors of why that goal didn't come to fruition right well and you don't personalize it as much right you're not like i'm the worst person it's on the not planet a measurement now. of my worth right yeah that's that's the biggest thing is getting self-worth from other things yeah and not what you can do because mm-hmm. that's that's the same thing it's so you you're more than what you can produce yes even to yourself yeah. you gotta internalize that yeah, that's the hard part huh <laughs> yes. you're like i will be good enough if i can do the dishes this week <laughs> well that's the thing too is like when you set these goals like a lot of people for New Year's, they pick things that are bugging them, things yeah. that they hate about themselves. Or insecurities. Right. Or, yeah. And then they're like, I'm going to target this. And then if they fail it, then they're just proving themselves right. They're yes. horrible human beings, uh-huh. but it's not at all how it works. Right. Which is why I'm hoping that like our goals, and it seemed easier this time to just have a conversation about it. Yeah. Instead of like, let me think about some goals I have to set. Mm-hmm. It was more like, these are the things that I need to do to move forward from where i'm at right like this is i'm here and those are the next steps yeah which makes it a lot easier to not be afraid of falling on my face right but it's also the goals are not around things that are like this is an insecurity they're around things like right this i need to do for my health that'll help me function better this i need to do because i want other things down the road Mm -hmm. this i need to do because who it really needs done right so yeah i don't know because even with like the gym getting the new trainer and working on that and building muscle yeah like that will help with stability Mm -hmm. and that will help with mobility yeah and then i won't be hopefully struggling so much (laughs) yeah well and if we start doing cardio stuff yeah like that would just help me in general have more energy and yeah yeah. like i'm looking forward to it honestly i think it'd be great i want to do that Mm -hmm. let's do it now no i'm just kidding that's we're, the we're going to the gym with with the green screen. That's what my brain. <laughs> what, that whole thought process was how my brain functions on manic highs. <laughs> Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Why aren't we doing it now? Did we do it yet? We're not doing it yet. Do it now. Do it again. Do it faster. Better. That's my brain at like one o'clock in the morning when I have lots of energy. Yeah. Is like you should clean the house right now. Right now. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> oh, he's sleeping. Damn it. It's 2 a.m. Wake up your daughter. She's awake already. Let's make pizza. Do we want pizza? <laughs> I really want pizza. Does she want pizza? She loves pizza. Is she going to help me make the pizza? Why isn't the pizza done? I hate this it. was a wonderful idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's if I the could mania. just like, be productive when I can't sleep, I would get a lot done, I think. Yeah. I used to. Oh, God man. knows. I was an insomniac, but I got yeah. shit done. I just don't want to keep him awake either. That would be rude. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that helps it's with... It's not healthy also to not sleep yeah. and do things in the middle of the night. But hey. The night people. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, how do you cope with the disappointment if you do have to let yourself down? A lot of self-forgiveness. Yes. Like, now mm-hmm. I can do that. I can be like, look, you let yourself down. But it's not the end of the world. Mm. You only let yourself down. No one else is like the hopes and dreams of a nation are not riding on you getting your fucking there cardio done. There will never done. be peace now. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Sure, it sucks and you feel bad, but like, yeah. I'm able to talk myself down from, yeah, like judging myself so harshly. Right. Because if I haven't done it, it's not because I'm being lazy. There's a reason. Yes. Well, and that's what I was gonna say. Is like, I think for me, I can look at it bigger picture and not just yeah. be like 
it didn't happen because I'm awful. Exactly. It didn't happen because this or this or this or this or mm-hmm. these things combined. And I'm able to look at it and be like, okay, we didn't get there. Why didn't we get there? Mm-hmm. Like what what was it that was in the way? Or what do we need to switch up or change? Or like what can we play with right. to be able to try again and be successful? Right. Instead of I like that. I'm gonna keep setting the goal and falling on the Well my that's face the other thing too, right? Changing you, nothing. If you just redo the goal, yeah. like you're like, Oh, I didn't do it this week. I'll just do the same thing next right. week. Right. It's not you gotta yeah. change something. Something change didn't something. happen for a reason. Yes. Well, and if it's not happening, maybe you just switch something up. Like yeah. okay, so we didn't go to the gym twice in a row. Maybe we need to change the day of the week. Right. Maybe we need to do it in the morning instead of the evening. Like there's a lot of factors at play, and I think we forget it mm-hmm. a lot. Oh yeah. And so if we look at our lives as more holistically (laughs) like we talk about it a lot we want doctors to look at us more holistically yeah but i think we also deserve to have ourselves look at us holistically and look at all of the factors at play and be like okay did it not happen because i was being lazy or did it not happen because my dog got hit by a bus last week i hate when that happens right bad time all the way around so i don't even have a dog that's and that's hugely different from where we were a year and a half ago. Oh, no. At the beginning of the podcast, if we set goals, that's why we didn't set goals because it would have been intimidating yeah. and it would have ruined everything. Right. We were like, nope, 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 nope. If we were like, our goal is to get people on board, even, you know, just yeah. subscribe, we would have been overwhelmed and given up. Yep. It would have felt like a task. Yeah. And then we would be like, oh, we're just going to fail this too. And yeah. then- <laughs> self-fulfilling prophecy that shit right well and i think especially with adhd we have to be careful not to make things into tasks yeah because then the brain is like no can't <laughs> there's a task and then there's many mini tasks that's true i that never task. thought about that how like we want to get that that task done so we make it a task yes everything is a goal that you can yeah. get done so that you can get your endorphins and mm-hmm. yeah yeah i didn't i didn't even think mm. about that because if it's a task, then I'm breaking it down into each small task. And then I'm overwhelmed by this one singular task. Mm-hmm. Because it's not just one task. It's always more. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. No, I think that's... And it's a huge difference. And it's a testament to how much we've grown. And I think we we can spare to be proud of ourselves there. You think? I think. Proud on the back, I guess. Since we actually can do that, I'm just going to scratch my back because it's been bothering me anyway. Pat. Good job, Chris. Pat, 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 pat. Good job, me. Working stuff. Yeah. (laughs) Working through goals. Good start. Burnout. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, forgiveness is a big one too. That Yeah. Like, give yourself some grace. Like, think about would you hold your friend to it? If right whatever happened in your life happened in their life yeah when you apply it to someone else always try that yeah like uh, reframe treat yourself it. like you would treat your best friend yes that would that just blows your mind yeah it's like oh you're right i would not do that to them right that would be cruel and unusual that's ridiculous no yeah yeah because you are a human being and you're flawed and that that is totally acceptable and okay so i mean yeah if you look at our goals that we picked yeah they're not crazy no i think the craziest one for me is going to be quitting smoking but it's something that i need to get done anyway right it's a major change it's going to be the hardest goal to commit to right so i can see myself being like i'm gonna push that off another week (laughs) like i'm already working on these two yeah like weight loss and cardio Mm -hmm. weight loss is happening naturally and i'm just gonna continue eating correctly and not stuffing my face well and if you and i commit to going together Mm -hmm. then we'll both be able to knock out a goal there too exactly which will be great because i need a buddy and, and then hard surgery teeth and editing myself. are gonna happen yeah those are things that i can improve without having to put much effort in yes you know those are things that are inevitable and yes. i can contribute we to just them. didn't get it done this year right because i didn't want to fill any of my referrals <laughs> after what happened over the summer <laughs> yeah i had to recover for the rest of the year but we're getting there and i feel better about the recovery as a whole yeah so yeah it's just different and it's different to be able to look at it as like these are next steps 
rather than like I'm gonna change my entire life this year. Yeah, that that always doesn't work out. No, <laughs> when you're like changing my entire lifestyle, and yeah. then you go for one week of trying this thing, right? And then you go back to your old life because it takes yeah. forever to build a habit, right? Well, and it takes forever to break a habit too. Yeah. So God. Quitting soda was a big one. Yeah, it took me all year, really. Yeah. It wasn't until, like, November that I was able to, like, fully just stop. Yeah, it's a habitual thing. Mm-hmm. It takes time. Well, and it the problem I had is that I would, I drink between deaths in games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, I was downing shit tons of Pepsi because I'd be like, oh, I died. Take a drink real quick and then move on. My husband's over here nodding and giggling because he does the same right. thing. It happens. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. He had to get a soda stream to kind of quell the desire. Respect. I mean, like, so, legit. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy to break that habit. So no. I've been using water, mm-hmm. which I'm okay with. Like, yeah. once you don't have Pepsi for long enough, Pepsi tastes bad. Yes. It's weird. Yeah. But, like, now I go, like, ugh, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Well, and cutting just that one thing out, yeah, you can see the difference that one thing makes, mm-hmm. which I think is huge too. Because some people are like, "Well, I could do that one thing, but it's not going to make a difference," right. or right, like, yeah, I didn't think it would make as big a difference on me as it has. It's easy to get down on yourself, mm-hmm. but when you're like, "No, I'm going to just make that one change," yeah, that one thing, just a little bit, yeah, no joke. Yeah, ease yourself into it. Don't don't wake up tomorrow and just like I'm gonna be a whole different person just yeah. right now. No, yeah, you really have to. And Take it easy. keep it going through <laughs> February. No, don't do that. I one thing that I do want to do too is like you were talking about setting up a schedule. I'd like to have like a daily yeah. schedule more Ditto. more like wake up at this time because I don't have like a set wake up time usually. Oh, I just yeah. wake up when the kids do. Right. And then on days they don't, I wake up really late and I don't yeah. like that. I want to be up. And... Right. And then you're like trying to catch up with the day. Mm-hmm. and then mm-mm. So it'd be nice to set up a daily schedule that yeah. I have like a routine to follow. Right. Right. And I, I can started, build that slowly. Right. I started putting my like work schedule into my phone. Mm-hmm. Not that I need it, but I was like, I have advisory and right. that reminds me on my calendar at that time. And then I have like, it's time to teach math or right. it's time to do this or it's time to do that. And that helps me at work keep the flow of the day going. Yeah. So I think if I could do something like that with my like weekly and daily schedule, I could be in a better place because I want I've wanted to build a schedule for a while. Right. We both have. But it's just been so intimidating. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's hard. Absolutely. Especially when all of you have ADHD <laughs> and one of you is unmedicated. I can relate to that. Jen and I are the same. It's a mess, man. It's a mess. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing. Like, those are the factors that I'm talking about here. (laughs) Those are unusual factors that not everybody has to deal with. And that's the other thing. Like, we've talked before about, like, don't do it the traditional way or the right way if it doesn't work for you. Yeah, you're neurodivergent, so... Don't don't do it type A way because it's not going to work for you and you're going to be mad at yourself a lot. Yeah. So if it's not working, go back to the why didn't it work formula Mm -hmm. and then change something. Little tiny small changes to see what happens. And that's my sped brain running away with me because when you do interventions, you come back and you evaluate and you're like, okay, so it sort of worked in the beginning. What changed or what can we change? Right. Or can well, we no, put it, like this here? I, it, it perfectly applies to this. Yeah. Like I hadn't filtered things through ADHD until last year. Right. So I, I was just forcing myself into the wrong hole. Like yeah. all the time. It's like square peg round hole issue. Mm-hmm. Not going to work. Yeah. I wouldn't claim ADHD until TikTok. Right. <laughs> Until TikTok was like, no, honey, you really, you're very ADHD. And I was like, okay, I feel safer saying I have ADHD. Well, now. yeah. And like, and I'm diagnosed, but like, mm-hmm. I pass, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> she's, she's I'm under the radar. Asking. I can't because I'm bipolar. So <laughs> I get manic and crazy thoughts. Like, I'm all over the place with energy. 
<laughs> I'm just a crazy person. That's fine. It's fine. We're good <laughs> this way. It's wonderful. Yeah. So then I think that brings us to like, and I think we've actually covered a lot of the how do you do it in the face of uncertainty? Because with Ellers Danlos and the comorbidities, and I'm sorry, just life on planet Earth right now anyway, mm -hmm. everything is uncertain. Yeah. And so how do you know what to do when or how to set a goal when we might have a hurricane in a month and that's going to derail the whole thing? Or do you set the goals and you just work day by day? I would, I now would say set the goals and then approach it day by day. That makes, because yeah. things are going to happen regardless. Yeah. Life is unexpected. Yes. People will steal your catalytic converter and then yeah. you're not going to work that day. <laughs> I'm just, you shit happens. You fall down the stairs and sometimes you can't finish vacuuming. If you fall down the that stairs happens. and no one's home and you have to wait for them to get home to help you reset your knees. <laughs> It's just life. You get in a car accident. And <laughs> you're useless for two weeks. I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, stuff happens. Adapt. And then, yes. Yeah. Adapt and then re reconfigure and be kind. Because like, I feel like if something happens and you're not doing it, you instantly start blaming yourself because yes. you're like, oh, I didn't do the thing. And then you feel guilt and then you feel shame. And then then you don't want to approach it anymore. Yeah. You're like, oh, I already failed it. Yeah. Yeah. You got to understand that you're going to need time for things. Yeah. If something major happens, you got to let it happen. Yes. And accept that it's not normal. Right. That'd that's like kind. the biggest. Be kind to you. Especially with like stuff that you were going through. You had to, you had to tell you a few times, this isn't normal. Right. Like this isn't a normal daily <laughs> thing. Not normal. You need to take the day because yeah. you're living in extreme circumstances. Yeah. There's that one day <laughs> I woke up and I just cried because I was like, I am instantly overwhelmed and overstimulated. Right, and I hate this. You're trying to force yourself to do normal activities in right. strange circumstances. Yes. Well, I think that needs to be something that we all consider mm -hmm. because what you're experiencing, whether you have mental illness, physical illness, undiagnosed illnesses, pain from surgeries, pain from injuries, like it's not typical right? in the sense that leading a normal life is typical like yeah the one model we have for society is not gonna fit you all the time right and even the type a people it's not gonna fit them all the time it, it, give grace give grace it's okay <laughs> and widen your viewpoint like yeah. zoom out from the hatred of yourself and look at what your circumstances really are exactly they're going to be different from type A normal. Yeah. And if they are different from type A normal, you need to be a little bit more forgiving. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little yeah, bit more bit. forgiving. Like, oh, you have a broken foot. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get on the treadmill in two weeks. Honey, your foot is broken. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you have a broken foot. <laughs> exactly that's exactly <laughs> like, it though find something else you can do so go sit in a pool and do this for 20 minutes i don't know struggling turtle oh, yeah anyway <laughs> <laughs> how do you oh oh nice prioritize part. yeah yeah i was thinking about that like how do you prioritize what goals to do and when yeah especially when you know life is uncertain yes so i guess for me i would just it's like what we do with surgeries. Yeah. We try and pick the thing that's most likely to get worked on and most prominent at the yes. same time. So like my knees, not going to get worked on. So I'm kind of prioritizing my shoulders now. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, they're more likely to get worked on and they right. suck. So Well, and we're also really bad at being in limbo. So we're like, I'll oh, we're going to move on. <laughs> yeah. No, if it, we get a roadblock one place at a time to switch lanes. It's, yeah. Change it up. But again, that's being and, malleable. And, yeah. And adapt. Yeah. Be able to adapt. Yeah. I think prioritizing goals, I think it needs to be something that like you need to have a conversation with somebody. It can't just be like, what's your New Year's resolution? No, what are you going to change to make your life all better? Accountability buddies. Yes. Which we're going to be doing on the Discord. So yes. if you want an accountability buddy. We're going to make a channel, actually, so that we can pair up an accountability buddy with one another. Yeah. Because I think that's a great idea. Was that Leonie? 
Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So awesome idea. I think that's great. Um, Because, yeah, with goal setting, it can be hard. But and I think I think there need to be opportunities for you to check in along the way. Yeah. To see, like, what's going on, what the progress is looking like. What what is your attitude towards the goal looking like? Because mm-hmm. sometimes it's okay to walk away from it for a minute. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is really frustrating me and giving me a lot of anxiety and making me feel all wrapped up in it. Like I need to put it on pause. Yeah. And focus on something else. And I think I do it with tasks all the time where I'm like, I did a task for a long time, but now I'm tired of it and it's overwhelming me. I'm going to. Well, and it's really hard to not do finish something, something yes. when you want that dopamine for yes. task completion. Uh-huh. So like dropping it and coming back is not easy. Yeah. It's like, oh, but I could, I could just. No, you <sighs> need to move away from it. Yeah. Take, take the break. Right. Find something else to do. Well, I think when we're talking about prioritizing, I think you need to prioritize you. True. And your mental health. So self-care kind of. Yeah. Like prioritize. Well, that's our grandfather's philosophy. Really? Take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. Yeah. That's Same. funny because that's almost my whole, um, oh, what do they call it? When it's like the thing that guides your whole work. Oh, like a um, mission statement. Mission statement. Yeah. yeah. Mine has always been invest in kids so that they can invest in themselves. Right. So, yes. But, but I have to invest in me so I can invest in kids. Exactly. So they can invest in themselves. Right. So they can invest in others. So there you go. But it has to start with you. Yeah. So prioritize your own well-being first. It's like, something that I've noticed Austin's been doing a lot lately. Really? Like we haven't heard from Austin in a minute, but he's, I know, it's been a bit. he uh he he'll check out. He'll he'll be playing games with me and then he'll be like, "You know what, dude? I need to go do something for self-care. I'll see you later." Like good on oh, you. I'm so proud of you. Right? Like he he'll go out, go on walks. Breaks away from the computer, gets fresh air, does that's wonderful. Yeah, like there is actually another goal that like the lack of it has been making me feel hmm. not so much guilty anymore, but sad. Like okay. I want I want to work on I need to walk my dog. Oh I need to, there's three of them and it's really hard for me to do, but I need to make it a point to walk the, the dog. Self care. Yeah. And then put it in as part of their self care. I like that dogs regularly now do it oddly i want you to walk them <laughs> upside down teach them to walk on their front feet only no you have to do a handstand the whole time oh on the dog's back well yeah while well, balancing on the dogs all three i need to get bigger dogs <laughs> <laughs> what did you say Rian? oh i thought he said something i'm hearing things yeah you are it's crazy but yeah prioritize you and then back burner things, I guess, are like, if it doesn't fit on your plate, right? let it be back burner. Because maybe, maybe you'll get to it later. Right. Well, when you have to adjust, mm-hmm. like when when we pivot, yeah. when it's like dead end on this one project, right? you have one ready to go Yeah. so that you don't feel like you're being lazy or yes. you can still feel productive Yeah. and make it, you know, as long as you're picking goals that are possible too right they need to be achievable and i don't like the smart goal thing like What's i that? get where it's like s-m-a-r-t oh uh, what is it specific measurable atta- achievable um realistic time bound so basically it has to be specific so what are you going to do specifically like <laughs> I'm going to walk the dogs regularly, but that's not even specific enough because they want like time bound, right? Measurable. How are you going to measure your goal? <laughs> like, how are well, you going to keep you. tabs on whether yeah. or not you're doing it? Achievable. Is it? Is it really in your realm of ability? <laughs> Can you do this? Reasonable or realistic or relevant? There's there's a ton of different ones. I I all I see and is then time bound. I see stress. Some like men it. are really trouble. Yes. Smart goals. Smart goals. <laughs> Some men are really trouble. I don't like the smart model, though, because life does happen. Yeah. And I don't like the like, well, by 
six weeks from right now, I'm going to have achieved blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to measure it on this sticker chart. And no. Some people need that, though. Some people do. But it makes me anxious. Yeah, personally, I can't. I can't do that. It makes my stomach hurt and I don't like it. I do get the like the completion part, the dopamine yeah. drops and like, ooh, yeah. I did a task. But at the same time, I need it to be more fluid. Yes. Well, and I need it to be built into part of my life and not something extra. Yeah. Where that it's makes like, sense. oh, I have a goal I'm working on on the side. Like no. that would work really well for Steph because Steph likes to like oh, that's itemize everything and she, she has like a really strict systems. schedule. Yeah. Yeah. See, that would make sense for her. But like. For me, no, no, because that would mean like, by when am I going to have a new trainer? How often am I going to work with the new trainer? Because I don't know yet, guys. I don't know. Right. And having to like make something up and then stick to it. That's scary. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. It's impressive that I'm making goals. OK, maybe I'll get there later. <laughs> Someday. Check in with me in a year, and we'll see if I've grown. Well, we will. To the ability to if we're still, if we're still running in a year, right. we'll have our next year, That's and true. we can do a yeah. follow up. Check in with me then, and we'll talk. Or don't. But I want to talk. Do it. Do, do whatever. Don't listen to her. You can do whatever you want. Stop telling my friends to go away. Don't don't leave. <laughs> you can leave if you want. <laughs> I've locked all the doors. <laughs> She's being controlling again. <laughs> Smart goals of hers. Who? Anyway. Kidnap friends. Kidnap my friends. <laughs> my new goal. New year. <laughs> Great. But I don't know. How would you prioritize or look at a list of goals and think about like what's going to come first? Um, it's a good question. Like, I'm trying to think, I'm like taking my goals and trying to like filter them in priority. Mm -hmm. So like things that I know I can just add to my daily routine, I, I can do right away. Yeah. Right. Like continuing to eat better, not have sodas. Um, things that I need to start up. Mm -hmm. Again, ease of fitting it into the daily schedule yeah because it's it's got to be something i can ease into right so like working starting on the treadmill right if I, even if i'm just like walking or jogging lightly yeah i can do that in the meantime until we get going right right um in surgery like these are all kind of time bound like i i'll have to see several doctors for yes. that teeth are dependent on insurance and time mm -hmm. of the year and yes. resets uh -huh. and then editing is another one that i can just kind of add into, into the yeah yeah well and i think for me the like building more muscle comes underneath the going back to the gym yeah and going back to the gym i have a buddy now who will go with me so we just have to talk about where schedule who is you this? you're coming with me and we're gonna go walk on treadmills i'm not real you're not real. have you seen my hair oh this my was a God. dead giveaway that i'm imaginary it grows like this. It's not Look real. at the color of my eyes. You think that's natural? I'm a dream. <laughs> some woman somewhere has said the same thing. But, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately, I know a lot of, of people. <laughs> Yikes. But I feel good about, like, going back to the gym. Yeah. Even if I wait on bringing in a new trainer mm -hmm. then at least i'm doing something at the gym and starting to right. become more active easy into it exactly it's not just like all of this all at once exactly and that feels better actually than the new trainer because then i can start working on conditioning mm -hmm. to be able to tolerate yeah working out with a trainer yeah because it's hard when you have pots and eds mm -hmm. and you're also out of shape because you haven't gone to the gym in like six months <clears throat> me mm. We're going to fix that. So being more active will help me to be in better shape well, to work with. The that's new also the other thing. When you yeah. got to stack your goals on exactly what comes first. So like what would help you achieve the other goals? Yes. If there's anything that you can do, do that first. because yeah. Then everything else might become easier. That that's makes kind sense. of how I feel about setting goals in general is I think if they stack and they have reason to them. Mm hmm. Like, think about why you want to achieve that goal and what that goal will lead to. Right. And what will fall underneath that goal. Or you have a goal, but what do you have to do first? Mm -hmm. So it's almost like breaking them into tasks 
and then breaking it into a list of like this is number one right and after that will come number two and then over here we have a and then we have well, b and, and the nice thing have... is that it flows into each other too yeah. so then you're accomplishing things as you go along basically right it's i don't know that that feels good to me yes well and you're building it yeah and it's it's almost linear like mm -hmm. it's a flow like you said i think that's the best way to put it so yeah i think do what works for you if the smart goals work for you use it mm -hmm. if like having a check-in system works for you do with that that's awesome if you need to work on just one goal and nothing else for a while like do that that's okay but do what works for you and don't don't hang all your hopes on a system that wasn't meant for you and yeah. a system that your brain is not friends with. I mean, just in general, don't hang all your hopes on your goals. <laughs> yeah. Because that's if you Life fail happens. one. Yeah. Then you're going to be real down on yourself. Because uh -huh. God forbid, like <laughs> your job was cut or yeah, like you lost your car in an accident or like life is going to continue to happen mm -hmm. and we just have to maintain the ability to pivot right. and switch direction and be quick on our feet. So that's all I have to say on goal setting, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm actually feeling like happy about the way we've set these goals. And I think they make Same. sense for our brains and how they work. Oh, definitely. So yeah, it's a different way and it's not so scary because now and it's so weird to think that in the last year we've learned so much, but now <laughs> I don't feel attached to those like traditional systems. Yeah, exactly. That don't work for us. Right. So instead of not having goals at all, I can set goals in a different way, mm -hmm. which is helpful. In a healthy, healthy, helpful way. Yes. And set healthy goals. Don't be like, I'm going to lose 28 pounds in a week. Ooh. Do I'm going to lose 28 pounds, but not in a week. That'd be brutal. Unless I get COVID again. Who knows? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I Ultimate lost almost diet. 10 pounds over COVID. Dude. That was oh. bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I didn't know you could burn so many calories sleeping, but <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, when you turn into a furnace. Right? <laughs> when you, you are, are the sun. a space heater. Yeah. It's great. Good times. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good. Yeah sweet my ear hurts really bad i have to pop it so actually i'm just gonna do it gonna try and get hi. it hi ready let's Hold see if on. she can capture it there it went yeah i don't know if you heard that i was pretty inside no but we heard a little bit click because yeah my ears pop and when they don't my head hurts horribly yeah it was happening yesterday too when I texted you. I was like, everything, everything, everything all at once. just let go, and yeah. I don't know what happened. So, yeah, we can call it good though. stuff. I think so. I think we've had a good uh, New Year episode and five season five, guys. Five episode one. I don't know what this is the season of. This is the season of hope. I kind of like that actually. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm down. Season of season hope. Season of hope. Welcome to our wow, season. It's weird hope. that we would name it that. I know. <laughs> like, not, what is hope? From the beginning, we would have been like, no, that was stupid. That's gross. Hope. Ugh. You <laughs> grow up. <laughs> We're just cynical 25 year olds back then, apparently. <laughs> We've aged so much. Yeah, me? 12 Ooh. years? Oh, boy. Weird. Oh, my God. All right, my friends, I think we're going to call it because we yeah. are a little sleepy, I think. Um, and I think we've exhausted the topic, but I hope it has offered you something. And I hope, like, above all else, please don't feel like you are bound to the systems yeah. that already exist. Because just because they exist now doesn't mean they're the right ones. Mm -hmm. And doesn't mean they're the only ones. So do yeah. what works for you. Yeah. Uh, follow up. On yes. the Discord, if you can, like yeah. it, continue the conversation. If you have different skills or different ways of doing things mm -hmm. that work for you, let's share them. Like, yeah, let's get it out there. You got a system of your own? Let's yeah. share it. Exactly. Make sure people know that it's okay to have a different system. And also, we're setting up the accountability buddy system. So yes. 
I'm excited. Look forward to that. I'm ready. Yeah, we'll be accountability buddies when it comes to the working out part. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm actually game for that. Yeah. Like just doing cardio because mm-hmm. that's all I want to focus on for now. Yeah. Perfect. That would be good. Because then we can go and we can just watch a movie in the theater. <laughs> and they have all kinds of stuff. So you could bike or cycle or. Oh, I love biking. Yeah. Oh, it was so they got, fun. They got all the things and rowing machines. I hate, I hate rowing. Hate. Love rowing machines. Hate rowing. Hate it. Makes me <laughs> feel so sick. But there you go. All right. <sighs> we have reached the end of our very first episode of season five. We appreciate end of the coming year. along. Uh, happy New Year. I hope happy you birthday. had a safe one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you found some value in uh, this podcast slash YouTube video. And if not, leave us a comment and tell us what we could have done better. Yeah, seriously. We're always game for it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, that's it then. Be kind to you. Be kind to others. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.